In this video, we will learn about three address code. Three address code is an intermediate representation of our source code. Compilers use syntax directly translation to generate three address code. But in this video, we will be writing three address code by hand. So we are given this source code and our goal is to convert this source code by hand into three address code so that we can understand things clearly. So let me first write our instruction set. This is our instruction set for three address code. This is not a complete instruction set, but sufficient for this video. Number one, we are allowed to write instructions which have only two addresses, like A is equals to B. Here A and B sometimes refers to as registers, or you can also call them different two variables. In any instructions, we are not allowed to use more than three registers. So this instruction is fine because it has two registers in it. Second, we can also have an instruction A equals to some operator here, which is a unitary operator here times B. So this is a unitary operator. For example, minus, we can have here minus. Next uh, instruction is A equals to B and some binary operator C. This here is a binary operator. For example, this binary operator could be plus, minus, times, and so on. Another instruction is unconditional jump instruction. You can say go to some address. So I'm just, just writing L here, which is refers to an address. Go to some address. This could also be stored in a register. So this instruction is using one register. So, so far, all the instructions that I have written use either two registers or three register or one register. They are valid instructions for three address code. Another instruction is conditional jump. So it is like if, here we will have some condition. I'm just writing here C for condition. And then go to some address, L. Now, note that this condition could have at most two registers because we will have one register here. If this condition has more than two register, then it, it doesn't represent three address code. Here, for example, a condition could be that A is greater than equals to B. That's a valid condition that we can write here. But if we have a condition which has more than two registers, then we have to break it into two different conditions. So that's it. That's our instruction set for three address code. Now, we have our three address instruction set here, and we have our source code here. Our aim is to write three address code that represent this source code in this portion of the blackboard. Three address code is sometimes abbreviated as three address code, and sometimes it's also abbreviated as three address code. I like this abbreviation because it has a digit in it. In three address code, each instruction has a unique address, which is incremented based upon the size of the previous instruction. So some instruction might be taking two bytes, some instruction might be taking four bytes. So the address will be incremented based upon the size of the previous instructions. 
But for the sake of simplicity, in this video, I assume that each instruction has the same size. We will be always increasing address by one. Address is represented by a number followed by a column sign. Let's start with this instruction. This instruction is already in three address format. So we can just write here i is equals to zero. No semicolon in three address instruction set. Now we have to write this instruction. Now this instruction decomposed into multiple three address instructions. i equals to j is the instruction that is executed before the start of the loop. This instruction is executed with every loop iteration, whereas this instruction is executed at the end of the loop, here. So now let's write this instruction, which is basically we can write outside the loop. So i equals to j, this is a valid three address instruction. Now I write this condition. Once again, if this condition has some and and or inside it, then I have to decompose this condition into multiple conditions. But this is a simple case. So, so I can just use my conditional branch here. So I will write here if i is less than k go to now there must be some address here from which this loop starts but i don't know that address at the moment so i write here a as placeholder i will later on replace this a with the actual address now if this condition is false then we are outside the loop so that means we are here if this condition is false. So number four, we are here outside the loop. So I will write here k equals to m. That's it because outside the loop I have only one instruction at five. Now I want to write what is inside the loop. But before that I have to write here go to another jump instruction so that in case I'm executing this, that means this condition is false. I'm not continuing with a statement inside the uh, loop. I can jump them. So I will write here go to and once again I will write here a placeholder for my address which is B. Now here comes A. So this is my A because if this condition is true, I want the code to jump here and this will be my loop body. And at the end of my loop, I will have here B. That's the end of my loop. So in, in case this condition is false, then I will execute K is equals to M and then I will go to the end of the loop to continue afterwards and this is my loop body inside the loop i will have once again this condition so i write if i is greater than f if this condition is true i want it to go to some address c which i don't know at the moment i will replace c with the actual address later on Let's say my C is here. So in, if this condition is true, I want to come here. And now I want to execute this instruction. And this instruction is not in the valid three address format. So I have to break it into two instruction. Because multiplication has the higher priority. So first, I'm going to do the multiplication. A temporary variable T1 is equals to K times f and then I use t1 and add it in i and I will get my j so 
c plus 1 will be j equals to t1 or rather I should write i plus t1. So this is my uh, instructions which will be executed when this condition will be true. When this condition is false, I will be in the else part and here is my else part. So a plus 1 will be that I will first once again decompose these instructions to two different instructions and they should not be the same. So maybe I should not write here this instruction once again here, I should write here something else. So I will write here uh, I times uh, k minus f. In case I am in the else part, then I will first do k minus f. So I write here t2 is equals to k minus f and here I will have a plus 2. Now I will write j equals to j equals to uh, i times t2 but there is one instruction missing here in case I am in the else part then I don't want to execute the if part I want to jump it so I have to write here another instruction so here will be a plus 3 and I will write here go to once again to b so go to b now what is missing we have to increment and then we have to go back to the loop so I will write here c plus 2 i equals to i plus 1 this is a valid 3 address instruction then I will write here c plus 3 which is go to back to the place where I am checking this instruction so go to a so I will write here a and that's my whole 3 address code. However, I have to replace these addresses with the actual addresses. So now let's do that. Uh, this A is basically 6. So I write here 6. I write here 7. This is 8. This is 9. This is 10, 11, 12. 13 and now I replace this a by 6 I replace b by 13 I replace c by 9 and I replace b by and I, I missed one I missed this one this one's, one should be uh, 8 plus 1, 9. So this should be uh, 10. So C should be 10. This one should be 11. This one should be 12, 13 and 14. I once again have to fix my addresses. So 6 is fine and B is uh, 13. No, B is not 13. B is 14. C is 10, and it's not 9, C is 10, and uh, then B is what? B is 14, I will have here 14, and finally A is 6, so I will replace it by 6. And that's it. This is my 3 address code for this source code, and I hope that you will be able to understand despite all my mistakes. So see you in the next video.